Hi guys, it's day 48 of Savor at Home and tonight we're going to try a whiskey that's a collaboration between a distillery and a band. We are going with Few Flaming Lips Brainville. So this is a rye whiskey that's a collaboration between Few Distillery and uh, the Flaming Lips. Um, it's named after one of the Flaming Lips songs, and it is a rye whiskey produced by Few Spirits in, um, they're in Evanston, Illinois. Um, this is bottled at 40% ABV, and only 5,000 of these bottles were released, so limited edition. Um, anyways, it is a rye. It has no age statement attached to it. It doesn't stay, say straight rye at all, anything like that. Um, so uh, it is using 70% rye. Uh, it's 20% corn and then 10% malted barley and all the ingredients that few uses uh, in the mash come from within 150 miles from the distillery. So pretty local. Um, it is then fermented using French wine yeast. Um, now, I believe Few does this also for their ryes as well that are not um, just collaborations. Um, and what this does is it's supposed to bring out a lot more stone fruit flavors. Um, so, you know, like apples, peaches, things like that. Um, and then it is aged using new charred American oak barrels that are actually from Minnesota, but doesn't say how long it's aged for. Um, yeah, these bottles are retailed at 125 bucks a pop. Um, I think I found this for like 90, something like that. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say uh, about that. Let's dive in. So there's an interesting orange tone to this. Um, it's got some good flavor or good, some good some good color. Um, now you will get a lot of color using new barrels um, even if it's not aged all that long. So on the nose there is that rye spice that comes uh, out right forward. It's got some like fennel spice to it. And there is, um, there is a very fruity aspect to this. Um, I don't know that I would say apples. I would say more like, it's like an over-ripened nectarine or something like that. Yeah, really interesting. Yeah, there's a good, um, there's a good sweetness that's balancing uh, the rye spice on the nose. The flavors are fun. There's again, that fruitiness that's coming through. Now I can see a little bit more apples, more like apple pie, some baked apples with cinnamon and, um, but, but it, yeah, there's still that rye spice that comes through as well. So that spiciness, it's not too, too spicy though. Um, the mouthfeel is a little bit astringent, so it's a little bit drying, um, a little bit tannic, and it doesn't really have a silky mouthfeel to it that I would like. Um, but overall, it's got some fun flavors that are coming through in there. It's an enjoyable whiskey. Um, not sure uh, that it's enjoyable for its price point. Uh, 125 bucks is pretty steep. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's a good whiskey overall. Cool collaboration. So I'm glad I was able to pick up a bottle. Thanks, guys.